Hi golfers and welcome. I'm coach Carolyn, Ledbetter certified instructor and former professional tour player. And today I want to show you the chip putt. So the chip putt is one of my favorite shots and I use it so much. I really use it every single round at least once, if not more, when I'm just off the green. And if you watched my previous video about chipping and giving ourselves options from just off the green, that's great. Make sure if you haven't seen it, that you go watch it because I'm here to give you guys more options, more ways to score, more ways to feel comfortable in the course. So make sure you watch this entire video because this is really a gold nugget. So the chip putt is really simple and it's with a putter. So I'm not using a wedge, I'm obviously using a putter here. And you can do this from off the green. You can even do it out of the thicker rough. So I even do it from a thicker rough. It is all a little bit of practice and feel, but I really like it because again, sometimes there's days where we just don't feel as comfortable with our wedges and sometimes the grain and everything is just doesn't feel right. So if it doesn't feel right, don't do it. Make sure you can commit to the shot that you choose. And here's another shot you can commit to if you feel good about your putter that day, leave the wedge in there, pull your putter out. Make sure that you can fully feel comfortable with what you decide to do and with your choices on the golf course. So this is a choice I make very, very regularly, as I said. And we have a pretty long putt here. So there's a lot of roll. So whatever chip we would pick would ideally have a lot of roll too. So very, very similar shot because we wouldn't fly this all the way to the pin. It would be way too hard to control the spin and it's just risky. So let's make sure we, when we take the putter, we set up to it like a chip. So we're going to get snug and we're going to be a little open. So we're going to get close, a little open with our feet in our bodies. And then um, I'm left hand low, so I'm going to continue left hand low. I'm not going to change to my chipping grip. It's <laughs> so odd, right? If you're left hand low, you just, depending on what club is in your hands, this would feel really weird, even though I'd totally chip like this um, and it doesn't feel weird. But for, if I have my putter in my hands, I keep my regular grip. So if you are left hand low like me, left hand low it is because we have our putter. So set up as a chip. You can de-loft the putter even a little bit. So we're putting our ball pretty much in the middle. So when, I, when I'm putting, my ball position is much more forward because we want to hit up on the ball a little bit in putting. We don't want to hit down on the, on the putt ever because if we were to hit down on the putt, like on a regular putt, it would jump off the face and that would you know, create inconsistencies in the spin and the roll. So on a green, on a regular putt, you don't want to hit down. Here, you want to hit down on it. Why? Because you want it to have a little bit of a jump start off the face over all that grain. So here the grain's actually going into me. You can see that if I'm trying to do this, I can see the grass is standing up. It's keeping me from going this way. This way it's nice. You can drag the club easily. This way I really can't drag the club because it's into the grain, right? So we want to have that little jump off the face in this shot because we want to carry this a little bit, give the ball a little bit of air so they can clear that and then start rolling on the green. So here we put the ball position back a little bit further than we would on a regular putt. So for me, that's middle, middle to a little bit back. And then I have my weight a little bit on my front foot, just like in a chip, a little open with my body and my feet. And then my regular putting grip and my hands are leading a little bit again. I'm de-lofting that face a little bit again. And then I'm going to do a chipping motion. It's just a chipping motion like this. Didn't mean to hit the ball there, but you catch my drift. So let's take this away. So in the practicing, it's just really kind of a chipping. It's driven by the core. See how I'm releasing my chest through through the hole. So it's a little bit of a chip, but we have a putter in our hands. So that's why it's called the chip putt. Putt chip, whatever I said earlier. So <laughs> here you go, setting up like a chip. Wait on the front, de loft the putter a little bit, and let's give it a little jump start. So you can really see and feel how it kind of jumped over all this junk right in front of me. And now it's just releasing down to the hole. So it doesn't affect the ball as much. The grain that we're dealing with here doesn't affect the ball because it flies over it. Genius. And that shot is going to be so helpful for you, even if you're just off the green in the rough, just off the green on the fringe. It is such a handy shot to have. And it just gives you options, guys. And that's what I'm all about. This game is super hard, as I always say. Let's not make it harder on ourselves than it already is. And just put this shot in your bag. And go try it. Go practice it. See how that actually had? It got airborne, like the first couple of feet. And that's exactly what we want. So use the physics and the possibilities you have and be creative. That's really everything that we should be on the golf course. Don't assume that because it's a putter, you can only putt with it. You can chip with a putter. We just did. And it's some great results. So 
I'm super excited about you trying this. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this, if you've tried this before, and if this is helpful because I love this. And I think so many of you guys always ask me for short game tips, and this is one of my main ones that I wanted to share with you guys. So I'd love to hear how it goes and how much you're using it and how it's really been changing your short game. I would love to hear some stats. You know, make sure you keep your stats, your ups and downs and your putts so we can really have some tangible things to look at. But this, I promise you, is gonna change your game. It's gonna change your scoring around the greens. So make sure you try it and let me know how you like it. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment below. I always have tips coming your way. I'm posting one to two times a week. So there's going to be a flow every week of great tips and new information that you can translate right into your golf game to become the best golfer you can be. Also, make sure to check out the seven day free trial on coachcarolingolf.com, where I give you access to my entire drill library and for you to check out at your own time, learn, and go in there, see for yourself, and then we can start working together. I'm really excited to work with you guys and see your swings. We're gonna have Sportsbox 3D software where we have our own online training space, you and me, and then we can really take your game to the next level. Check it out. I have the link in my description, and I cannot wait to have you guys join the Coach Carolyn Golf family on my website. And thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time.